I'm Lady Vivian Pruitt and welcome to Let's Talk. So this month, all month, I've been talking about women who have made an impact in the mission field and on my life. And today I want to highlight another woman as we're wrapping up Women's Month, the month of March. I want to highlight a woman who has made a huge impact in my life um, and has also made a huge impact on the mission field. And that is none other than, and we call her Bishop Mother, Amelda Thomas Jones. So Bishop Mother Jones, or Mother Jones, or Bishop Jones, however you want to call her, she is a dynamic woman in ministry, in the mission field. She is originally from Panama, and her country has designated her as a bishop there because of all the humanitarian work that she does there, the evangelism that she does there in the uh, country of Panama. And not only does she um, witness and evangelize in Panama, but she goes all over the world and all over the 50 United States um, evangelizing and really doing a work for the Lord with the international ministries. And I am so honored to um, be considered one of her spiritual daughters. Um, I have known her for so many years. Oh my gosh. Um, I can think back um, probably a good 25 years or so I've known her. And Mother Jones is one of those old-fashioned mothers where you remember if I don't know if you remember you know back in the day when um the revivalists came into town and um you know they called you up and you were a little bit kind of scared you know um that you were being called you kind of watch your thoughts like oh my gosh I know they're gonna read my thoughts <laughs> she's one of those definitely she's one of those um and I remember um when she ministered oh my goodness um she was just amazing, just amazing. And uh, people were just amazed by her. You know, she is definitely um, a prophetess in her own right. Um, she doesn't go by the title prophet, but she definitely is a prophetess. <laughs> and Mother Jones has been there for me at some very low points in my life, very low points in my life. And it's amazing because when I'm going through something, um, all of a sudden, it could be in the middle of the night, three o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, I get a text from her saying, uh, beloved, I'm praying for you. Beloved, you can do this. Beloved, um, take care. Or, or I would get a scripture from her of encouragement. And one time I remember when I was at a low point was back in 2021, it was February. And this was, um, I was in another country, actually, on the mission field, and I contracted COVID. And this was before they had a um, vaccine for COVID. And I was scared to death, scared to death. And it's so funny because like a day or two before I got my positive um, uh, test reading. I was getting ready to head back home to the States and, you know, didn't think anything about it, went and took my test. And um, the person that was traveling with me, she called me and said, hey, the results are in. I said, oh, okay, let me check my results. So I checked my results and I was like, it felt like the floor fell from under me, literally. Um, and the air got sucked out of me when I said, it's negative. And I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't even believe it. I said, no, 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 this cannot be, it cannot be negative. So I, anyway, I went, I said, let's do this again. So I went the next day and I tested again and it was negative again. And that was it. I felt like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm in this foreign country. I'm going to die here. <laughs> I don't feel that the medicine here is, uh, very up to date. Uh, so I didn't know what, what was going to happen. And I remember that it had been uh, in the midst of all that. I remember um, it was early in the morning. I received a scripture from her. And I just kind of, you know, started crying saying, oh my gosh, 
Um, and I'm thinking like, how does she know? <laughs> of course, she didn't know exactly what was going on, but the Lord had led her and told her that something was going on with me. And she sent me that scripture. And I remember all throughout that time, um, while I was experiencing the symptoms of COVID, um, I kept reading and rereading and reading and rereading that scripture that she sent me. And she had no idea. And I didn't even tell her until months later um, because I was, in, I was in so much fear. I really thought that I was going to die in another country, even though it's my native country, but I'm in America now. And um, I really felt like I didn't know what I was going to do. So all I can do is hold on to the word of the Lord. I hold on to that scripture that she sent. So I, I just thank God for her. Bishop Mother Jones has just been amazing in my life. And anytime um, I have anything going on, I can just give her a call and she just goes right into prayer with me. And when I say prayer, she will go into travailing prayer. <laughs> That's the kind of person that she is. Um, and just pray you through, pray you through until you're able to come out of whatever the situation it is that you're dealing with. And that wasn't even the only time when I was experiencing COVID. And thank God I made it through that um, experience. Um, but she has been there at other times when I've had um, some serious um um, issues that I would, uh, that I was dealing with and she was yet there. Um, you know, she'll, like I said, sweeps in in the middle of the night and sends you a scripture or she comes, she says, I had to come see about you. She'll come and visit. And, um, she, she's con in constant contact with us and she'll come and just say, you know, the Lord sent me here. You know, this was, she calls it the Macedonian call. <laughs> and it definitely was the Macedonian call because we needed help. And um, when these Macedon the Lord gives her these Macedonian calls, she comes out and she comes to see about us. She stays in contact with us regularly. So I am blessed. I am honored to have her as a spiritual mother. And again, she is a trailblazer in the mission field. Uh, she goes all over. She's wanted um, all over. She doesn't even take all the appointments. She actually says she doesn't go unless the Lord says, go and see about this person or this church or whatnot. But um, so I thank God for her. I, I consider her a dear friend and a spiritual mother. So my, I salute you and I thank God for you, Mother Bishop, Mother Amelda Jones. So anyway, this wraps up our Women's Month celebrating women on the mission field. I thank God for allowing me and giving me the opportunity uh, to go out into the mission field also. So anyway, stay tuned next month where we're going to talk about some more things. So God bless you and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.